That's on video. <laughs> hey. So, we're marking timber. We're gonna do a little different today. I'm gonna show you some aspects. This stuff here isn't, it's not bad. It ain't the nicest. There's some big things in mixed in here, but it's, this piece is 137 acres and 100 of it about is wooded and it changes as you go around the hill between the north facing slopes and the south facing slopes and then there's different parcels that were timbered in time but now it's all one big parcel but what we're going to do this morning is we're going to quiz lauren on our tree identifying capabilities because i'd like her to get to the point where she can do this with me and mark you know have a stick of her own and mark trees also you don't need to pay me <laughs> i pay you <laughs> I pay you. I pay you with love. <laughs> okay. Lauren. Name that tree. It's either a hard maple or a soft maple. Eh. No. Told you not to do this to me. I'm rusty. I know the one behind it's a cherry. We're not what is it? Poplar. Very good. Okay. Let's move on. I should have known that. Should have known, known that. I'm not going to have you identify that one because it's a hard one. Lauren, name that tree. That one's a soft. Very good. It looks like crap. <laughs> okay. They do. Tree stand. What about this one? Cherry. Very good. Cherry's easy. What about that ugly one with the stain on the bottom going up? Beach. Nope. Dang it. Try it. What? We know this. I feel like I know this, but we haven't seen a lot of them. No, oh, no, we have. We have? It's all around us right now. That's not another soft maple. Yes, it is. It is? Yep, remember how I told you? Yeah, remember how I said some of them have real smooth bark? I got done telling Lauren. Nope. No, larch, they lose their, remember, it's, they lose their needles. Which is the one, why do I know this one? Smells good. My dad would be so disappointed in me. You make tea out of the roots. Sassafras. Thank you. <laughs> I got done telling Lauren yesterday, I was like, all oh, this property, and I didn't see any deer, no deer sign, and I'm eating my words because there's a buck rub. Seems like the only place there was deer sign was on the face of this hill right here and down in the old field. What? My pom -pom you better put that in your pocket. But I like my pom -pom. Well, you don't want to lose it. There's an old house that was up here. I was telling her it'd be cool to have a house in the middle of this. Except for you next to the highway. Yeah. But as usual, the neighbors have been using this place as their own little playground. Where? Yep. Very good. They've been using it as their playground. That's dead ash too. You can tell by how they kept all these trails. Now these this road here. I don't know if this was an old road or what it is, but in the property there's drill roads from saying probably five to ten years ago when they did core drills uh, we'll get up here and we will video some more name that tree thing doesn't like to turn on and off because it's cold lauren name that tree that looks like the other one is that that no that's walnut very good that's a young walnut there's like I I... <laughs> that's a cherry Oh. oh yeah, she knows her elm. Gray and red elm. She knows that. 
But there's like, that would be what I call a field walnut. It's young looking, has real thick sap wood. And I'll show you, there's woods walnut back here. Woods walnut. See how the timber changes? How fast it changes? All right. What's that one right there? The big one? Right in front, yep. That's red oak. No, close, but no. Black oak? No, what's the other oak? Scarlet oak. Yeah, very good. I have a hard time telling yeah. the between Yeah, they get tricky. Now- I only know the black oak and red oak difference when you the top front of them next to each other and I can so see the difference in the bottom. That was a scarlet. And that one right there is like a cross between a black and a red. I don't know what that is, but I'll probably label that as red. Um, all right, what's that one back here? I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. Where are we looking? But you can see the white bark. I just said I knew it, and now I can't think of it. It's the one that looks like camo, and why is it not coming to my brain? Give me a minute. Crap, crap, crap. Don't say it. What's the big one next to it right here? That one's a poplar. Okay. Um. What's that one? I know it. I can't think of it. Don't say it. I'll. It'll. Let's just go, and I'll tell you what I remember. <laughs> okay. There's another one down there. Yeah, I know it. I love the tree because it looks like camouflage at the top. What's that one right there? That one's a red oak. Very good. That one's a dying red oak, actually. This is like an old road bed. I don't think this is a drill road. I think it could be, but it's pretty substantial. It's kind of funny to me. All right. I don't want you to. What's that me. big, gigantic, bugger, ugly thing right there? A crow oak. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah, but no. A white oak. Yep. What about these two right here? That one's a white oak. Very good. What's this little guy right here? That one's a hickory. What kind? A shag bark. Very good. All right, there's another one of them. I know. We're up close. I know. Why can't I think of the name? I took a picture with one that giant that we found on that one property. You guys are probably just commenting like crazy right now, like send, what send. Start with? S. What's your first letter. S. I knew that too. Mm -hmm. I kept going. Z, z. No, as is that's a Z. No. Easy. What's this beautiful specimen right here? Is that another walnut? It is. Now that that's one's pretty. That's what I call woods walnut. Like no, nope. like nope. like and that'll dark. have real thin sapwood. Look at all them ones that starts with an S up in there. <laughs> well, I can't, you know I know this one too. The rest of the world doesn't, but I do. And you know. I think I the know. rest of the world knows it too, honey. <laughs> this is one of the easier ones to identify. Why can't I get it right now? I just can't remember the name. There's another beautiful woods walnut right there. There's one right there, one there. I thought there was some more up in here. Yeah, there's a couple up in there. Six more. Ah, she got <laughs> it. She probably looked it up on her phone. No, I didn't. I was thinking about it, but I didn't. Oh my. All right. I didn't have time to. We're gonna, another tree stand. That one's actually in a decent spot down there. Most of them are out, like their ladder stands in here out in woods where you can see three, 400 yards and there's nothing around to cover the deer up. But that one's actually on the edge of a thick spot. So, okay, I am, uh, I got a twig in here. I gotta get to marking some timber. We're almost to where I left off yesterday. Yep. All right, so we're marking away, and I just wanted to show you guys this particular section. There's another two other sections that are even better than this, but I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah, get her to stand next to this former reference. It's just 
just thousand foot tree after thousand foot tree. It's just, it's impressive. I don't know if we're gonna get it. They're big, man. There's one there. There's one right behind her. There's one up the hill over there. There's a hard maple. That's a hard maple. I mean, it's just, I'll walk around. And then countless ones back that way. Um, we got a huge red elm down there. We got a mark. Let's see what we got on this. We're definitely going to get two sticks plus out of it, but that top piece is going to break. So let's go two and a half. Big ones like this, you want to measure both sides. So I've got 40 this way, actually over 40. 40 that way. 27 that way. So there's a difference of 13, so let's go 6, 33, and 2, 8, 35, plus that top log. We're going to go 9, 10 on this as a red oak. And i got to do different marks here because the landowner wants to be semi-discreet. He said, hey, just don't go crazy until we know for sure that we're doing it. So. Uh, I'm going to hold the camera so you guys can hear me. Sometimes it's troublesome to hear me. Now this one... I can look at that and tell that there's definitely three 16 foot logs in that almost four the fourth one's probably going to break up when this thing hits the ground so we're going to call it three but just oh I mean they're just big this is one tree you know maybe skid only half the tree at a time so I'm doing inside the bark I've got 35 and this way I've got 40 so we'll go 37 and three is 15 34. yeah it's a bit and it's it's probably got more if you can get it down to one piece you're going to get more than that even um there's a hickory i mean look at that that dead red oak we'll scale that because that'll still which one yeah, ladder stand to see the ratchet strip. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I don't see any. They might have had it in this little one. I don't know, but we'll scale that one, but I'll only scale it for two because that top looks pretty cracked up and rotten. What are we looking at? That dead red oak. And that's the reason this needs cut. There's a lot of this stuff that's just dying out. There's a lot of top, dead top wood and you know you we're kind of at critical mass with this it's going to start dying off so hopefully they go for it this would be one hell of a job it's going to be long skids i don't i wouldn't be able to cut this by myself the skids are too far um i'd have to pair up with somebody i have a group and i uh a group that cuts with the company i do i'd have an idea so but like i said you can see all the cuts people rode quads and dirt bikes and they run around all through here and uh, it's like their playground. I'm sure we'll upset some people. But that's how the cookie crumbles, man. Unfortunately, they don't own it, so. I gotta get back to marking, folks. Okay, so real quick. Lauren wants to learn how to use the stick. So we're gonna do a tree. See that poplar right there in front? We're gonna do a tree where she measures it, tells me what she gets, and I'll measure it and tell her what I get. Let's see. Trying to figure out how many logs are in it. This is the point part Here, where you do the, the measuring. Okay. Remember, 25 inches from your eye. Use your dominant eye and don't move. You gotta hold that against the tree. Close the one eye and use your dominant eye and do not remember inside the bark too now. That's a pretty round tree, so she don't have to measure it from two sides. You'll be safe. I'm gonna say it's three forty. Okay, so what'd you pick? Twenty-one. Twenty-one and three logs high. Okay. So as for your height, you're very close. Three is a conservative number. That's good. Four. You almost squeeze four, but right at the end of log number... It tapers off. Yeah, right at the end of log number three, you got a big branch on this back side, and it gets real small in diameter. So you could go like three and a half logs high. 
Um, that's if you can get that down without breaking it. This ground right here, I think you'll be okay to get it down without breaking. So like three and a half. So you were close. Three is good enough. Um, It was? Yeah. I mean, you could go like 360, but you know, odds are being popular is kind of shattered. It went dark on me. Yeah, it'll do that. It's on the dark way. I don't even know where the hell you have popular at. Right there. Where's the pen? Here. I can't do both. <laughs> what were we going with? 344. Yeah, I wrote two. Okay. Okay. There you have it, folks.